Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach. Today we're going to be making a delicious brunch item. Could be lunch too. We are going to make crispy Parmesan biscuits. Yum. And then we're going to turn them into a sandwich with arugula and lemon butter and prosciutto. It's going to be delicious. So let's get started. I saw this recipe and knew, oh my gosh, we're going to have to try that one. So into my bowl here, I'm going to put a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. Plus it had cornmeal, which you know I love cornmeal. It gives things a little texture. Half a cup of cornmeal. And then I'm going to put the leavener in here. So we've got two teaspoons of baking powder. So let me get those in here. So we'll go one, two. And then we've got a teaspoon of baking soda. And that's going in. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. Get that in here and then we'll mix this up. Half a teaspoon of salt. Someday this blue salt will run out. <laughs> I've had it forever. So I'm gonna mix up our dry ingredients here and get everything nice and mixed up. And then we are going, I'm gonna use the mixer just because it's faster with you guys watching than trying to do this by hand. So into the mixer goes the dry ingredients. And then I'm gonna put in a half a stick of butter that I have chopped into little cubes. And then we are going to, boom, mix this until it makes crumbs. Until it makes a little crumb. We're gonna go a little quick here. Get it going. Because I'm always looking for something that looks new and delicious and something you can make ahead. And these biscuits you can make ahead, I'm actually going to freeze these. Um, we will make one as a sample to show you the sandwich when it's done. Delicious. But I'm going to freeze the biscuits and use them um, for a brunch. Maybe even for Easter brunch, which is coming up. But I love things you can make ahead for a party um, or a family holiday party or whatever, a birthday party and pull them out and boom, you just have to put them in the oven. So it makes things go nice and quick. Speaking of quick, let's see if we can get this to mix up quicker. We're gonna get this into a crumb, get our butter incorporated. And then we are adding buttermilk, because I mean, delicious. What's a biscuit without some buttermilk? And then we are going to add chives and two cups of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, I think our butter balls have incorporated. We have here, it looks like a coarse meal. I'll show you what it looks like. And then we are going to add in here our <clears throat> buttermilk. So I think that's next. I actually think that's last. Hold on, hold that thought. Cheese, two cups freshly grated Parmesan cheese going in. And then I have about a half a cup of finely chopped green onion. This was three scallions chopped up fine because nobody wants a big old bite of scallion in their biscuit. So I'm gonna mix those in and get this all incorporated. Oh my gosh, these smell so good already. The cheese and the onion, yum. Okay, so now we're going to add the buttermilk and the olive oil, buttermilk. Going in, that's three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. One third of a cup of olive oil. And I'm just gonna mix that till it all comes together because I don't wanna over mix it. And that is good. So let me show you what this looks like here. I picked the whisk attachment because it's kind of like a pastry cutter. So we uh, have pastry cut it. So you can see our dough here. It has just come together. And oh my gosh, it smells delicious. So you can see this dough. So I'm gonna grab my cookie sheet here, which I have a piece of parchment on. And I'm gonna scoop a couple of biscuits here, just for a uniform size. So one. Two, there you go, do a couple more. Now, a couple reasons to use a scoop. Number one, it's cleaner. 
And number two, then you have a uniform size of what you're scooping, so they bake evenly. Okay. Oh my gosh, these look delish, huh? Smell delicious. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be so yummy with all that cheese in there. Okay, so there we have them scooped, at least the first set. There's a probably maybe four more that this batch will make out of here. I will confirm that once I finish scooping. But there we go, we have our biscuits now, Parmesan cheese and chai biscuits going in the oven and then bake at 400 for about 18 to 20 minutes and then I will come back when these are baked and we are going to make them into a delicious prosciutto, arugula, Italian biscuit deliciousness. So I will be right back with baked biscuits for the magic of TV. Okay, let's see how these biscuits turned out. Oh my gosh, look at these delicious biscuits. The cheese, oh my gosh, and the chives. Oh, so let's show what I'm gonna do with this. We're gonna turn it into a yummy sandwich. So let's cut it in half. Gently here. Cut it in half, oh my gosh, look at the onion and the cheese. It smells so good. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of arugula. So I'm only making a, making a couple here. I took the rest of them and I just froze them in the freezer. So I have them for another day. To the arugula here, I'm gonna add just a squeeze of lemon. And this is the lemon that's left from, I took the zest off for the lemon butter, which I will show you here in a sec. But just a squeeze of lemon on that and some black pepper to zhuzh up our arugula a little bit. And I will give that a little toss. Oh my gosh, it smells so delicious. I love arugula. Okay, so for these sandwiches, I made a little bit of lemon butter, which was just half a stick of butter and the uh, lemon zest from one lemon. So I'm gonna take some of the butter here and put it on our biscuit, both sides. And then I have some delicious prosciutto. Yum. Of course, this is a product of Italy, imported from Italy, this, pa this package. Take my piece of prosciutto and put it on there. And then we're gonna put a little bit of the arugula on this and put the top back on and boom. There we have it. Our Parmesan cheese chive biscuits with the arugula and the prosciutto and some lemon butter. Let's check it out, huh? Oh, delicious. Now, this is a twist, would be great for brunch, lunch, make ahead. You can make these biscuits ahead like I did, throw them in the freezer and then pull them out when you're ready to make the sandwiches. These would be great on a buffet for a party because you can make the, sa the sandwiches up and put them out on a buffet. You can even make them smaller. You could make them bigger depending on what you're gonna serve them with or shoot, just let people have two. So there we go. Delicious, crispy Parmesan biscuits with the uh, prosciutto and arugula. Let me know if you try them. Take a picture and tag me. Thanks for watching.